Welcome to a name I'm going going to but butcher. Kionophile? Kionophile? I don't know. Kion? Kion means snow, apparently. So, uh, Lover of Snow. The second game in this Philia trilogy, or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, it just runs on the same, like, engine, same base as the previous game. All of the same things, DLSS, which is nice and all. Oh yeah, I, I didn't even notice the camera shake. I guess it was kind of wobbling a little bit. It felt fine, like atmospheric, not really obnoxious. Same weird sensitivity that goes up to 100% when 7% is the default. Same audio sliders, but now we've lost one. Now there's no voice slider, because there were no voices in the previous game, and I guess there are none in this either. Keep this in mind for uh, when we get to the third game. And yeah, same quality settings. Now we have effects as well, but post-processing is still tied into motion blur, or vice versa. But I guess I will put this on ultra because it just does make it actually look better, but... Ugh, I hate motion blur. Anyway, let's love some snow. And I guess if you're for some reason watching this before watching the previous one, uh, Pluvio File was the name, right? To appreciate the beauty of a snowflake, it is necessary to stand out in the cold. Aristotle. Great. Uh, then uh, these are like walking sims, just kind of atmospheric games, not really much going on, just kind of put yourself in the atmosphere and also read some poetry. Whoa. Well, it's a lot more, like, otherworldly than uh, the previous one, right off the bat. Okay. Mail over some of that tea, will you? It will be a very wet mail. A letter, but sure. Is that where we're going? Or where? And we can sprint again, same, like, toggle sprint. Well, I say sprint, it's like... A mildly brisk walk. I didn't even alter the volume settings, but the music actually seems like better balanced than this one. It's like more background music. And you get the sounds of snow and stuff more prominently than last time. Yeah, I would not call myself a lover of snow. It does look very nice, but I would rather not be out in it, so a game like this is quite good for that. Yeah, it's kind of going for like a weird fantasy vibe almost. White are the far off plains, and white the fading forests grow. The wind dies out along the height, and denser still the snow. A gathering weight on roof and tree falls down. Scarce audibly. 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 Okay. But the gate is still not open. I guess we go up here now? Yeah. Yeah, it's a very strangely different atmosphere. Like than the previous game in terms of oh I see it's supposed to be a town those stars I didn't didn't even realize they were like houses they're lit up huh it's almost like the music is a little too quiet in this one but I think it's at 100% so I can't really do anything about it I guess I could lower the sound effects and increase the overall volume if we find that it's like this for all of it. Okay, so we can go there. We can't go over here. In case you see me not move the mouse for a while and just do this, probably having a sip of tea.
It's not really as, like, deep snow as you would expect it to be in an area like this. And these are very close together so far. In the last one, we had to kind of walk quite a ways out of the way to get one of the flowers. Oh, didn't even see that. The road before me smooths and fills, apace and all about. The fences dwindle and the hills are blotted slowly out. The naked trees loom spectrally into the dim white sky. I mean, okay, S sky, sky. At least I could read that and it made sense. I wonder if this is a different author. Maybe I like this author's po poetry more than the previous one. Maybe I just jinxed it. Again, with that, like, kind of washed out... Washed out, a uh, Like, just general feel of the game. Like, sure, it's snowy, but... I feel like everything could have a little more contrast. Wouldn't hurt. This looks cool, though. Not sure I would walk out on this lake. Too bad we can't jump. I guess, should I take a quick look at these as well? Just... Okay, it, it's just normal achievements. Not like any secrets, as far as I can tell. So I guess we don't need to worry about finding any cottages or something. Yeah, there's that. I'm just gonna have a look around first. I feel like I'm probably wasting my time and I should just pick up the thing and then explore here later because this path might be open at that point. Yeah. Oh! Secret poem? He who cannot put his thoughts on ice should not enter into the heat of dispute. Friedrich, Fried, I can't pronounce his name. Friedrich Nietzsche. I wonder if there were any secret poems in the previous game that I didn't see. I didn't really like stare down at the ground too much. Where are we taking this? Not here. Yeah, the reflections on the ice are Quite nice. Feels almost like visually a little more impressive than the previous game so far. Also, so far I haven't noticed any weird pop-in. I mean, we'll see. 
when we walk around more, but... Yeah, might be an upgrade. Yeah, I'm not seeing any pop in at all yet. The meadows and far, far sheeted streams that lie still without a sound. Like some soft minister of dreams, the snowfall hoods me round. In wood and water, earth and air, a silence everywhere. 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 Yeah, this, this poetry is like more... It's way simpler, but also just more approachable, I guess, than the previous, previous one. And that's it, chapter one. Yeah, definitely seems like a step up in terms of, like, the technical side of things. To solve it quickly, what? Follow the paths through through the snow. We get gameplay? Starting at the fire next to the river, passing any crossings straight. Though you are free to explore. Well, I, I think I just want to, like, explore. Hmm. Is this... I can't quite tell. I think this is, like, doing a decent job at the panning stuff. Because I always hate when, like, if you're listening to something and it's 100% in your left ear and nothing in your right ear. I mean, I can't tell if it's doing that now. I guess it kind of is. When I was just looking like this or whatever, it, it seemed like it was doing a good job. Because, yeah, I wish more games did that where like you never you never hard pan 100% left or right because that just feels unnatural like if you're standing like this you should still hear it like 20 to 30% in your right ear wait could i do something with the fire oh there i saw some pop in but yeah not as much Oh. Longa? Ars? Longa? Vita? Bre? Brev? Something? Is that some sort of famous Latin phrase? The long white brave. Yeah, okay, pop in, but I mean, it's better than the last game, not as, like, dramatic, like, this tree would be popping in now, now this tree pops in. It was kind of, uh, jarring last time. And last time we saw, like, a pair of deer, I wonder if we're gonna see some animal, like a snow fox or something, or a bear, or an elk. If that's gonna be, like, a theme. I live here now. And this is actually kind of nice too, like the music just fades away and like leaves you alone with the snow sounds for a bit. Whoa! Whoa! Why am I fast? Holy shit! What just happened? Suddenly I'm like an Olympic sprinter. What is happening? Is it oh my god! Why am I so fast? Is this a bug? What just happened? Why am I suddenly Sonic? This feels kind of jarring. We're zooming now. <laughs> Jesus, I can't like take in the sights. Too fast. Okay, even just walking is still like very fast. You finished eating an ice cream cone. That's fitting. 
It's like it's supposed to be, oh, downhill, you're like sliding downhill because it's slippery and stuff, but then you just keep the speed. So now I'm just extremely fast. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's kind of nice to be fast, but at the same time, so much for like the slow pacing and just taking in the scenery. Nice water graphics. Yeah, I wonder if that's intentional. Hello, fireman. Wait, do you say something new? Yeah, Ars Longa Vita Brevis, whatever. Someone quick Google what that means. I like this area. Looks very nice. Alright, let's sprint. We got a lot of ground to cover. I guess that's it for this part. I really can't tell if this was intentional. Like, I guess it would take a long time to walk across all this if we had the same pace, but I mean, isn't that the point? Especially since the sound still makes it sound like we're walking, so we're just taking, like, extremely long steps. No poetry? Oh yeah, maybe there was poetry. I wasn't paying attention. Or do you mean you saw some poetry? So yeah, there could easily be something hidden. At least now it's like... We can run back and check. I mean, I guess this is just what they meant about the fire thing. Like, there's just massive dead ends and stuff. So you're supposed to follow the fire, but you're free to explore. But yeah, now if it's like, oh, there was poetry back there. It just takes 10 seconds to get there instead of, like, five minutes. You thought there was a button to press to do something with the path? Really? Over there? Just wondering if there's any poetry in this game? Yeah, there's poetry. We've had some poetry. But it's not as, like, frequent as the previous game. Oh, right! You mean the tutorial? Yeah, right-click. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's this. Which is very jarring. This seems strange to have. It's like waypoints. It's honestly kind of interesting. It's like we're seeing the like identity of this game. Oh yeah, there's poetry, yeah. But I guess we have to come at it from the other side. No, we can read from here. One kind word can warm three winter months. Japanese proverb. Alright. Neat. Thanks for the reminder on that. It's like we're seeing the identity of these games just change over time. Like the first one was extremely slow pace and unclear goals and like... I don't know, just yeah, a lot of popping and stuff. We can see some popping like way in the distance, but it's much better. Apparently higher pace, unless that was accidental, a bug. And then just like waypoint markers. Another poem here. Winter is not a season, it's a celebration. 
What's it say? An Anna Anamika? Anamika Mishra? With this speed, I can make it. Nope. Yeah, Lover of Wind will just be like a speedrunning game where we just fly around. I mean, there's something I saw when I tested Lover of Wind that's like, it sounds strange and more gamey than these ones, but yeah, we'll get to that. And I guess these are the, like, plates that we take the flowers to. I wonder if you can take the flowers to a different plate. Oh no. I just got slower. What happened? Picking up, picking up the flower slowed me down. Oh no. I'm definitely slightly slower than I was before. Whoa! Animal! Fox! I called it! I can almost catch up with it at this point. Hi, Fox. What's up? Okay, I also like running. Okay. Off you go. Also, now the the music is getting a little, little louder. The progression of games kind of reminds me of the beginner's guide. Yeah, that that's a good point. Is it gonna devolve into the same thing? <laughs> I really liked the beginner's guide. That was a fun experience. Yeah, now I'm starting to appreciate these markers. I'm hoping we don't slow down even more for, like, everything I collect. Is this where I... Be oh, I'm faster again! It is that! It's like the game trying to, to tell you that, like, oh, you're sliding down a snowy hill. But then you just keep the speed. So like, as long as we just go down certain slopes, but like, not over here. I, I tried to go down a slope and it didn't do anything. But I guess some slopes are like, coded to have you slip down. But then they're not coded to remove the speed again. Winter forms our character and brings out our best, Tim Allen. I don't know about that. All right, we're fast again. Wait, is this my walking or my sprinting? Okay, that's my sprinting. Too bad. We found civilization. People. Can I not get there? Ah, oh, I don't think I can get there. Found a poem. When snow falls, nature listens. And Antoinette and Cleef. I want to pet the cows, but I'm not allowed. Oh. Uh, sure. Oh shit, can I pet the cows? Save when at lonely intervals some farmer's sleigh urged on with rustling runners and sharp bells. Stop with a cowbell! Swings by me and is gone. Can I remove this? Yeah. Or from the empty waste I hear a sound remote and clear. I like the reflection in it. Clear. Clear. Oh no, I'm slower again. We gotta find a slope.
Again, like, weirdly unfitting music, I feel. Not that it's bad, but just weird. Snowman. Was that there before? And do I have a second flower? I think I need to get one more. Yeah. Okay, we need a slope. Does it just work with any slope? No? Hmm. Let's just try it on the place that it worked on before. Like somewhere here? Go! Slide! 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 Ah, oh, no! How do I force this bug? I need it. Give me the speed! I think it was here that it happened last time. Crap. I guess we just have to kind of walk around and hope that it happens again. Oh, and that's nice too. It grays out the ones you've already completed. Are you sprinting or walking? This is the sprinting. Now I'm walking. I was having tea, but we got it again. Nice. And I was going uphill, so I don't know what it's trying to do, or why this even happens. It seems very strange. But I kind of love it. Hello, fox friend. I'm faster than you now. Keep up. Alright, I should probably try and get to these ones. Maybe I can't get to these ones? Because now we're just going back here. Oh no. Maybe? I think I've been to this one, right? That was the first poem? Yeah. But was that open before? Maybe that place opened. When I found the poem. I don't know. Maybe I just missed it. Oh, no, 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 it's not open. I see. Okay, so maybe later we have to go here? So for now, I guess let's try and get to this flower. I'm kind of happy about both the UI thing, even though it is a little weirdly, like, jarring for what this game seemed to be about. And also this speed bug, because yeah, this would take like an hour to walk back and forth. Like, even with this pace, I still feel like we're getting a nice sense of the environment and stuff. The fox was just coming at me. And now that, like, the motion blur almost makes sense, because we're going so fast. Don't slow me down. Ah. Gotta hope we get the speed boost again. Maybe I should try collecting one flower when walking to see if that slows me down, like, less or more.
I'm just gonna go up and down hills that look promising. It seems to have something to do with the hills, at least. Yeah, so I guess we just go to this one now, and then that path will open. What is that, the THX logo? Come on, slide. Slide. Give me the slide. You know you want to slide? I have no idea how to trigger that. Do we get more cows? Whoa! Jesus! What is this game? This is so strange compared to the first one. I kind of like it more. The barking of a dog or call to cattle sharply peeled, born echoing from some wayside stall or barnyard far afield. Then all is silent and the snow falls, said, or well, and the snow falls, settling soft and slow. Slow, slow. No, I'm slow, slow. No. God damn it. Help me, doggy. We're gonna need a speed boost stat. Yeah, this is my sprinting speed. Oh dear. Imagine if you just walked like this the entire time. Oh boy, I sure hope we get that bug soon. I'm gonna go over to these hills again, hoping that'll happen. Can we go in here? I assume we have to go around into that other place from before. See you tomorrow when you reach the next poem. Yep, pretty much. And this is the, the intended way to play this game. Come on, do it. Give me the slide. Ah. I mean, I guess we can just walk up the hill and hope that it happens. Like last time. It doesn't seem like too... Too rare. Yeah, nothing here. Yeah, I can't seem to, like, force it in any way. It doesn't seem to have to do with, like, the steepness of the hill or anything. And it doesn't seem consistent. Like, going over the same hill again might not make it happen. I got a little tiny version of it. Hold on. I don't know if this would work. I mean, this is this is better than nothing. I guess we just hope for more on the way. Yeah, 
it's it's weird. There's only one speed boost token per hill, yeah. Well, this is this is a nice pace. Like this should be the default, I feel, in this area. In the previous area it was fine that you were a little slower, but here you definitely need a little bit more speed, even if you're like using the compass and following the fires and stuff. Also, following the fires, there have been like two fires and that was it. I don't know what that was about exactly. Damn it. Nope. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have to do anything with the... Uh, or have anything to do with the slope, like... Degree or whatever. Now I'm kind of curious about, like, a speedrun of this game. Because surely people, someone has figured out how this works. How to get the speed boost and, like, maintain it. It actually would be kind of interesting to see. Did I just get a little bit more of a speed boost? I'm not sure. I was, yeah, man. I, I was kind of hoping I could play, like, all three of the games tonight. But this is, like... We're only in... Oh, no, yeah. We are almost close to the end of this one, apparently. But I'm not sure how long the next one is. Because I kind of don't have much time left to stream. It doesn't have an, a listing on speedrun.com. Too bad. Well, this is your chance. You listening right now. You could be the world record holder for this game. Figure out the sliding bug. I'm guessing we go over here afterwards, probably. It also might have some weird thing to do with, like, frame rate, perhaps, since I'm playing on 120 FPS. I don't know if that has something to do with it. It's hard to tell with things like this. Yeah, same thing again. I'm curious. Ars longa vita brevis. Yeah. Oh god, why Swedish? Stop it. Skillfulness takes time and life is short. Great. Oh yeah. Right, Vita is the uh, is life and brevis, I guess like brief kind of where that comes from. The evening deepens and the grey folds closer earth and sky. The world seems shrouded far away. Its noises sleep, and I as secret as you What? Yon? As secret as yon buried stream plod dumbly on and dream. Okay. And dream, dream. Dream. Oh? What, again? Could you do that on the previous ones? Like, multiple times? Don't remember that. And now I'm slow again. Speed boost? Nope. Oh, and now... Okay, no, we do still have the markers, but I assume we're going here. Yep.
Please make me slide. God damn it. I'm just trying to like run in weird spots or into things or have something happen. So I just realized we've had the crosshair for both games and it feels like that is very unnecessary when it's not like you need to click on something. I'm slower than before! Are you kidding me? God damn it. I guess it just sets you to walking speed for like the dramatic finale. Oh god. Yeah, this is definitely a more like surreal experience than the previous game. The previous one was just walking in a rainy forest. Now it's like a weird dream-like fantasy land. Which I'm kind of more into. Just like strangeness. I have no idea what this is supposed to symbolize. Hi, dog. Alright. That was a very strange game, and I kind of like it a lot more than the previous one. Hopefully the next one is also, like, strange. And just... Yeah, just whack. I like that quite a bit, actually. Just really want to figure out the slide bug. Because, yeah, that made it a lot more palatable than if you had the default speed for the entire thing walking around that whole area. It would have taken like an extra hour. But yeah, very nice step up from the previous game. So I like that quite a bit. Unfortunately, I really don't have much time, but I think I might want to like go for the third one anyway, just to get them over with. It would feel weird to like not play that in a row now and save it for another weekend. But I really shouldn't, because it's probably going to take at least an hour, right? Or something like that. Oh boy. Let's go for it.